I'd like to take this opportunity today to formally endorse the Fair Tax Act. I look forward to becoming more involved in the fair tax movement here in my home state. I hope to become somebody who is actively involved in the movement, and I'm going to begin doing that immediately. There are a variety of reasons to, that, that I personally support the fair tax. I think that it is the best proposal to stimulate economic growth, to cut taxes, to simplify our tax code, to broaden the tax base, and to reduce our national debt. What does the fair tax do? Well, first of all, on the income side, on the side of based on what people earn, it eliminates taxes on income, the federal income tax and those taxes associated with that income tax. So you eliminate the income tax, taxes on capital gains, the estate tax, taxes on gifts, social security, self-employment taxes, uh, taxes on savings, the payroll tax, that's an important one. Taxes that employers withhold from their employees' paychecks and that, that, that everybody has to pay, businesses have to pay, and the individual. So we, we get rid of, in addition to the income tax, the federal income tax, we get rid of the 73,608-page mess that is our current tax code. It eliminates the IRS, saving us $430 billion a year. And, and it gets rid of that huge bureaucracy that so many Americans fear and spend hours upon hours and hundreds of dollars complying with every single year. That's the first step, and that step does a lot. We become more competitive because we no longer have to deal with the 35% corporate tax rate. We, we encourage investment by getting rid of the capital gains tax. We cut taxes on families so they could be able to do more with what they earn and keep what they earn by eliminating the income tax. So, so that's the first part. You also are able to simplify the tax code, and by, by the way, by getting rid of the tax code, you're throwing out all the loopholes and deductions that are presently in place that a lot of wealthier people uh, take advantage of. The, the, the fair tax also has a 23% flat consumption tax rate. And what I mean by flat is uh, that is the rate. There is no, it, not every level of production is taxed. The 23% number comes from the typical family is going to pay 15% in payroll taxes, another 7%, excuse me, 15% in income taxes and another 7 or 7.9% 7 in payroll taxes, getting you to 23%. Now, 23% cons consumption tax rate sounds like a lot, but there is what is known as a prebate, which is that every month, every single American gets in the mail what they need for the necessities of everyday life, so we're not forcing people to pay tax on things that they need. And, and the, this, the amount you get is based on your family size. That number is based on estimates by the Department of Health and Human Services as to how much you're going to spend every month and every year. For instance, if you're a couple, your prebate is going to be a little over $4,500. If you have two kids and, and, and a couple, that number is going to be over $6,000. This enables us to make sure that uh, the poorest amongst us get what they need and that all of us are able to, to not have to worry about the necessities of everyday life, so that's not taxed but we are taxing items, luxury items. By the way, those items, that 23% number does not, is 23% on paper, but in practice it really isn't. When you take into account that companies no longer have to pay the corporate tax rate, the payroll tax rate and those taxes associated with the payroll tax, it would lower the prices of goods while hiring more people. So you're creating jobs and you're enabling prices not to have to go up. People know what they're paying on the tax because it's built into whatever the price of your product is. This would also broaden the tax base. Right now we have 47% of Americans who do not pay income taxes. Some for good reason, others for not. But re regardless, nearly every single American, and even if they earn their money illegally, and even if they're here in an undocumented status, would have to now pay taxes. Everybody has a stake in the tax code, which would be under 500 pages as opposed to 73,608 pages. The fair tax would also help Americans afford things like education and health care, help them save for those things as well. Nothing, the fair tax is a proposal, a tax reform proposal. It would bring in more revenue by virtue of economic growth and by eliminating bureaucracy. It would cut taxes and simplify the code and close the deductions and loopholes. It is a revenue neutral plan meaning that current funding levels of different services, military, Social Security, Medicare, would remain the same because it's revenue neutral. Obviously, I hope, personally, I hope that we can move towards a balanced budget, but this is the best plan 
the best blueprint to, to, to secure future economic growth. The American economy is struggling. We need something to stimulate growth. Our tax code is broken. We need a new tax code that people understand and are not afraid of. We need to cut taxes on middle-income and lower-income Americans while continuing to have a progressive tax code. The fair tax does all this. Basically, uh, you're, you're enabling, if, if you want to just have a basic overview, cut income taxes, eliminate the IRS, replace it with a 23% consumption tax with a prebate for the necessities. Those are the key elements to remember, although I hope you all remember most of what I said. The reason that I support this plan over a flat tax is because the flat tax continues to enable 47% of Americans, be it for a good reason or not, not to pay income taxes. The flat tax also keeps the IRS in that bureaucracy, which Americans don't like and spend hundreds of dollars to comply with. Finally, the flat tax would also force us to argue over what that rate should be, and I think that we'd be better off, those of us who are advocates of tax reform, to support a, a, a law to stimulate growth, cut taxes, simplify the code, and cut the debt. The fair tax is um, would be too controversial. And finally, what would just simply cutting taxes across the board, or cutting taxes like President Bush or President Reagan did, what would that do? That would stimulate growth for three, four, five years. That's what it's done in the past. The fair tax is something more. Economists have said that it would generate between 7 to 14% growth in our economy. We bring manufacturing back to the United States because with the zero, we instead of being one of the least competitive countries globally, as we are right now with our 35% corporate tax, we would be one of the most competitive, if maybe the most competitive with the 0% corporate tax. Americans would make more choices and would be able to contribute more to our economy. The fair tax is the ultimate tax reform proposal if you want economic growth, tax cuts, and to reduce the national debt.